we're going to have a very uh, quick overview of the engineer system. And if we look at this sample aircraft here two, with two engines, we can uh, see that there's engine bleed air. So this could be, let's say, this could be high pressure air here, and this could be intermediate pressure air. And there would be a valve then um, that would allow the air to be bled from the engines. And that would normally go into the air conditioning pack. So in the air conditioning pack, the air coming from the engine, you know, to be at a particular pressure and a particular temperature, and we'd need to get that down to, you know, whatever uh, would be comfortable for passengers. So maybe 18 degrees Celsius, for example, um, would be a good temperature. So the air conditioning pack uh, takes the engine bleed air and gets it to a pressure and temperature that is uh, comfortable for the passengers. And that air then bleeds out into the into the cabin through a series of ducts. And actually, you might even back down here as well. Some of it gets recycled and, and goes back into a mixer unit in the air conditioning system. Um, but that's that's one of the air systems supplied by the engine, okay, the air conditioning pack. The hot air coming from the engine uh, can also be used as thermal anti-ice. So there could be a valve that allows the air to go out along the leading edge of the wing, and that would keep the wing nice and warm and stop the buildup of ice. Similarly on this wing, and there may also be thermal anti-ice on the horizontal stabilizer and on the, just draw it here, on the vertical stabilizer. Some of that air may also get ducted up to the cockpit in around the windscreen. You can use warm air blow over the, uh, blown over the windscreen to stop the buildup of ice and uh, prevent rain um, from blocking uh, the pilot's view. There is a cross field valve. Okay, so one um, side can feed the other side. So if there was an, uh, an engine loss, you know, air from this engine will be able to provide terminal anti-ice here and here and supply uh, the air conditioning packs. When we want to start the engine, uh, we have a couple of methods. Well, one is to use the APU. So with the APU, the, a starter motor turns over the APU because the APU would be, would be a lot smaller than the engines here. And um, air from the auxiliary power unit, compressed air from the auxiliary power unit then can be used to do an air start on the, on the engines. Now I've shown the air coming down here through the bleed lines. That's, you know, not accurate there. You know, there would be another, maybe another line here uh, to go into the air starter. So we can use um, high pressure air from the APU to start the engines or indeed to supply the air conditioning packs while the aircraft is on the ground. Alternatively, uh, if we wanted to st um, start the engines, we can do that using a ground power unit. So we have a ground pound cart, with, which is just you know, a big compressor with a lot of air in it here. And we plug into the, the ground power um, attachment plug ground pump plug um, so air high pressure air can come in and that can be used then to to air start an engine once the engine is started then you know you can cross feed from one engine to the other to get that to start so that's a quick overview of of the engineer systems um, they're explained uh, differently here but you know it's the same principle you know, so here's the engines, there's the bleed air coming off, normally going to the air conditioning packs. Air from the APU auxiliary power unit can go in and can fill the um, air conditioning packs or indeed can go to start the engines. Or we can have air from the ground power unit um, coming in and using this then to, to start an engine. Finally, this was the terminal anti-ice. So once we open this valve, 
uh, warm air go out here and stop the buildup of ice on um, the wings and horizontal stabilizers, etc. These are some ECAM images, and uh, I'll come back to this slide. I'll just go forward one. So here is the uh, here is the engine, and uh, this is let's say the intermediate press compressor, and this is the high pressure uh, compressor. So we have two uh, bleed valves, and uh, two valves there you know, that can be opened or closed, so we can control the the temperature of the air effectively, temperature and pressure. You know, if if the air is too warm, we can control close the high pressure valve and just allow intermediate pressure air. Uh, if it's not warm enough, we can close the intermediate pressure valve and open the high pressure valve. Probably wouldn't close this, we would uh, just open this. Okay, so air comes uh, from the intermediate pressure valve and into um, a pre-cooler, because the air is uh, is quite hot. And you know, we, if we're looking for 18 degrees Celsius, out of the air conditioning packs, the air conditioning packs might be here somewhere. Um, you know, we, we'd probably have to get the temperature of the air down. So one way of doing it is to use this uh, pre-cooler. So with the pre-cooler, we have a heat exchanger effectively. So we're taking air from the fan, and that fan air then blows over the pre-cooler and uh, keeps this keeps this air. Uh, cool. At all times, um, there is uh, some control thermostats, so they're looking at the temperature of the air going into the packs, and if it's too warm, they can close the valves, close valves or open valves, depending on uh, the temperature, or if the um, if it gets too hot, if we get an overheat. So we have a controller and just a um, uh, a simple overheat um the air's just you know it's, it's gone above a certain range then we can close down the valves so this is the high pressure valve and this is the intermediate pressure valve this is how they would be displayed on uh, displaying the cockpit so there's the high pressure valve sorry high pressure takeoff intermediate pressure there's the high pressure valve intermediate pressure valve so just look at those again High pressure valve here, intermediate valve. So that's those two valves here. This is the temperature and pressure of the air, of the air coming out. So that would be sort of here, and then this is the pressure uh, relief valve, which would be say this guy here, and this would be the air conditioning pack. So this is the temperature. Uh, of the air going into the air conditioning pack, and this is the temperature coming out, and uh, this is going off to the to the various systems. Here is the uh, icon or the symbology used for the APU, uh, the ground power or the ram air. You know, so if if we had an aircraft like this and it was full of smoke, and we wanted to clear the aircraft of smoke, there's a ram air duct that you can open up. And uh, air can come in, outside air uh, will come in, and that will uh, hopefully clear the cabin of, of, of the smoke. Uh, it can also be used if we get um, a negative pressure. So if the pressure in here is less than the pressure outside, um, we can open the ram air duct and equalize the, equalize the pressure. Anyway, that's, that's more the aircraft side of it. Uh, just want to consider the engine side of it here which is basically this bit, um, and that's it, really. So that's a very high-level view of the engine air system.